The UConn softball team was at home this weekend to face conference foe Memphis as they look to stay hot and improve their record. Coming off of a win on Friday where UConn had everything working in their favor winning 11-3, their Saturday game proved to be a much tougher test. By the third inning, UConn was already down 5-0 and things weren't looking good. But UConn put on the rally caps and a comeback ensued as they scored two in the fourth and then in the fifth, Reese Guevara hit a two-run home run hitting the top of the wall to cut the Memphis lead to one. Guevara went two for three on the day. The Huskies kept it going in the bottom of the sixth as Carly Culler with one woman on smashed a two-run home run of her own to put UConn on top and now led 65. That would end up beating the final score as UConn won. In the final game of the series on Sunday again, Memphis took the early lead 3-0, but the hitting wasn't there to put them back in the game. In the fifth, UConn had runners in scoring position but could not pull through. In the top of the sixth, Culler had an amazing diving catch into foul territory to ignite the team's spirits. UConn had one final opportunity to sweep the series in the seventh, and Culler came through again hitting a solo home run with one out to make it a two-run game. A single and an error put runners on, on for UConn, but it wasn't enough as Memphis took the final game 3-1. Coach Jen McIntyre spoke about how she's seen the team improve over the past week. Well, I think that, you know, we've just really started to come together as a team. And, um, you know, our pitching has done a great job all year of keeping us in a lot of ball games and giving us a chance to really fight from behind here at the end. After taking two out of three from Memphis, UConn improved their record overall to 15-20. and 20. UConn will now host Boston College at home on Tuzday. From Burl Family Field, I'm Dan Shevsky, UCTV Sports.